Hi everyone, Angela here. Oh, we are gonna talk about a new plant today, guys. I just got, um, actually I take it back, months ago I got a plant from my mother-in-law that was part of her collection. Um, she gave me some cuttings and I haven't talked to them, talked with you about it yet. So anyways, here we go. All right, everyone, so like I said, my mother-in-law lived up in Delaware, and they recently, whoops, I'm making a mess. They recently moved over to Colorado. They move all the time, um, and in this passing, she decided to take a couple cuttings of her Swedish ivy and send them to me. So this was, I wanna say, maybe four cuttings, about three to four inches long, um, and it has turned into this. Now, she gave these to me, guys six months ago, and I can't believe I haven't shared them with you yet. Um, but the reason why I haven't shared them with you is because I put them outside. <laughs> and so um, we never make it around. I haven't done a garden tour in months. Um, but I saw this today and I brought it in to give it a good like um, washing um, and watering. And then I thought, I've not shared them with you guys. So I'm really sorry for that. Sorry, sorry Bootsy. Um, but I absolutely love this plant, so I had no idea it was gonna turn into such a gorgeous piece. Um, like I said, we live in Missouri, it's so humid and hot outside, so this bad boy, actually, he sits southern facing, but he's in like an L-shaped crook of the house. Is that even what you call it, corner? <laughs> I guess that's the right word, corner of the house, um, so it doesn't get any direct sun, um, which is so perfect because I don't know if it could survive. Like most of my plants were, um, we're in the middle of the summer right now and most of my plants are <laughs> crispy. Um, but anyways, this guy's doing so great and he's trailing beautifully. Um, and I just thought, you know, I should show it with you guys. I don't do a whole lot to this guy. Like I said, he's outside, um, he gets watered every, at least every week. Um, but there are times where he is definitely bone dry. Um, I don't do any fertilization with him. I think this is a really hardy species. Um, so I don't think it needs a, t a ton. I think some people might call it invasive. Um, but I like to say hardy. <laughs> so it's not gonna go in the ground. Um, I'm gonna keep this as an indoor plant um, for the winter so it will come in. It will find a new place, probably somewhere up there um, or maybe in the corner here by my grow lights um, because I want it to, you you know, persist through the winter. Um, but yeah, when it comes time that the evenings start to cool down um, this fall, I'll bring bring it inside. Once we get below like 50, you know, then I'll bring it inside, put it back outside for the day, and that's how we'll transition into the house. Anyways, um, super simple, not very many care tips, but I just love how glossy this plant is. The leaves are huge. Um, and I think that it's with the scalloped edges, I don't know if you guys can even see. There you go, there. <laughs> Anyways, um, it's just it's just an incredible plant, and I'm not sure if this is common, if a lot of you have them. Um, if not, you should probably get one because it's so easy and it's very different from all of the different IVs that I have in the house, um, and I just can't wait to show you guys how long, this, how long I can get it to trail. So that's gonna be my new goal. Anyways, I wanted to share with you guys today, if you have questions or tips or any comments, um, please remember to comment below so that we can chat about it because you know posting videos is fun but I really enjoy hearing from you all and getting to know you um, and taking the conversation off YouTube too so if you want to um, you know friend me somewhere else that's great too but anyways have a great day everyone sorry for my rambling I hope you love this baby as much as I do thank you Bootsy um, and we will see you guys in the next video bye